Hi guys, uh, good evening from Taka Bangladesh. Today I'll be doing three episodes for you. Uh, one is going to be an aftershave review from House of Denim, which is going to be the first episode. Uh, second, third episode is going to be kind of like a line talk from House of Bentley, and the one's going to be House of Asaro. Uh, the next uh, two videos are not going to be like anything brand new release. Uh, this month I actually sort of am trying to buy half of what I bought last month. I told you, not going to buy that many. Ended up buying few still. But uh, I still like to do uh, continue my work. So whole day I was not getting the energy. Very horrible weather going on in Bangladesh right now. Heat and humidity. Everybody is affected. The you can hear my voice is not that good <clears throat> because we have like this cold and all those. So I do apologize if you have uh, trouble hearing me. But hopefully it's okay. So the denim. A few days back I did one denim uh, like episode where I did feature two body sprays. And denim does have basically different products. They have body sprays, aftershave, uh, then they have the EDT or EDC uh, spray version, the EDT version, I think, yes, perfume. So they have quite a few products, I think. So denim basically are known to people as uh, sort of like aftershave. And I did cover four, I think, aftershave. This is going to be my fifth, hopefully. Fifth or fourth, I'm not quite sure, though. So I did cover the original one, mask, the black, and another one. So the I think this is going to be the fifth, yeah. This is going to be called 1976. But it's not a release of 1976. It's a uh, tribute to one of their, some anniversary, 50 or 100 years anniversary, I forgot. Uh, this is the release for that. I saw it, you know, I never tried this fragrance before. It's an aftershave. They also have EDT. I wish I had the EDT, but the smell is same. The concentration is going to be a little bit more in EDT, a little bit better longevity. But the uh, smell basically going to be the same. So these are like this kind of packaging, very cheap, kind of flimsy. Okay, if you've seen somewhere, uh, but this masculine man, the like, you know, how to say, uh, this is a very um, iconic uh, sort of, a, you know, like a cover sort of, you know, you've seen this everywhere. If you go to um, convenience store everywhere, perhaps they have these uh, aftershaves, but not this particular one, perhaps, but the original one, the green one, the black one, the red one, this, yeah, there are quite four or five I did review. So this one I really smelled and I really fell in love with the smell. It's very masculine, kind of like I would say a tobacco, not tobacco, leather-based perfume. Let's see how the bottle looks. So these are very affordable, by the way, not very expensive. All this time I was like sitting, now it's like 7.45, right? Nobody was drilling. Now they started drilling. This is the common sense of our people, right? So do apologize if you hear some noise. I can hear definitely. So as you can see, the MRP they wrote, 280 Taka, that's around... 300 taka means around uh, four dollars i think usd so it's cheap so this is how the bottle looks B before the bottles will be a little bit different now they move like make it like kind of like a this kind of shape and the juice color is very nice looks like almost a like whiskey color uh, very beautiful yellowish or something like that and the logo at the center this is a splash because it's an aftershave so you sort of have to open it like this okay and you can smell it this is hands down one of the most masculine smell I ever smell and it's also moderate it doesn't smell quite like a vintage but i'll put some on my skin and i'll tell you the smell longevity who is it for basically this is an aftershave alcohol based after you shave you put some on your face you know it, it's sort of gonna make you feel like a bit burning sensation but it's very masculine the aroma is gonna stay depending on your skin and weather condition perhaps you'll get three to four hours i got from this like one to two hours tops mostly one and a half hour then it's sort of like very faint dry down but i read some comments i'll let you know so i'll put some here okay uh, since i don't shave anymore nowadays i just trim or i just keep the beard i just applied some here so the edt i believe if you buy it will come with a sprayer okay unlike this it will come with a sprayer and people did say that has like decent four to five hours longevity i said this is a two hours longevity <clears throat> and i did see the notes breakdown yesterday but i forgot so i'm not gonna refer back but i'm just gonna uh, review based on what my nose got uh, as I was telling you, first of all, this was a tribute to their some anniversary. You check out the link. I'll leave the link below for Agnantica. I don't have to remember everything, uh, but you can read. But those who are into this kind of shaving, this one or, you know, some of these brands like uh, what's the other brand? Hmm. Forgot the green bottle. <laughs> Nowadays, you forget everything, you know. And if I remember, I'll tell you. So this kind of, you know, bottles, Brute, if you like Brute, this one, they are very popular. Old Spice, the same kind of family so these are the kind of people who like this i don't know if there's any review on this but uh, i think this was a release of something like 1990 something or 2000 something they released this it's not a very brand new a very old release okay it's not the original formulation right so as i told you performance is gone uh, who is it for masculine mature man this smells like very 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 posh luxurious smell if you like aramis 
for men or the Arabic's whole house of perfumes like they have different ones Devi and this and that uh, this fragrance it's gonna work for you you know if you have the EDT I can only imagine it's gonna be so much better less alcohol more perfume uh, such a beautiful stunning leather perfume such a masculine opening when you smell this it's it opens up kind of like old school citrus like Bushran Jaipur Purom like that kind of a spices but it's not very oriental it has some other notes maybe some florals you know uh, maybe lavender um, I guess some sort of a lemon leaf coriander perhaps patchouli this kind of thing but woody notes at the same time it's mostly about that leather very very beautiful delicious leather you know and there's maybe some sort of cinnamon these are the things that come into my mind I just absolutely love it it's more uh, spicy leather masculine very nice spices I must tell you if you like a kind of masculine spicy perfume you really like it I told you that my favorite is the musk the green one from this line but I also like this the original denim always is a classic but I love the denim aftershave over the EDT EDT smells a bit bitter okay I don't like that this one I think is my second favorite currently joint favorite you can say with the original one I love the green mask the most this one is my second favorite right now so go figure um, I think this fragrance if you uh, really cannot find ED just decan the aftershave and spray some on your shirt it will hold like two three hours right so this perfume basically is something like the same uh, style uh, is a Bushan Purom Azaro Purom like barbershop but it the lavender and everything is not very uh, not very amped up it comes to play afterwards but I, I get mostly the coriander a little bit of lavender lemon leaf up top some spices cinnamon maybe pink pepper and then the leather at the base with woody notes so very beautiful uh, on a breezy day or if you are actually taking a trip to uh, forest or somewhere this would be a perfect nature kind of perfume and it's, it's kind of like those uh, mature men's fragrance gents fragrance okay so if you like that kind of idea and you like uh, like you know remember the old poster days of Marlboro where they have a Marlboro man the cowboy sitting on the top of a horse and then he has the saddle a uh, nice big uh, belt and he has his gun right so it, it reminds me sort of like cowboy uh, western films right so this is very rugged and very nice I think it's a very modern smell as well I really like this so I picked it up sometimes I pick up random per, uh, products that s smells nice uh, this is one of them okay so denim 1976 I told you the performance the smell everything uh, definitely check it out if you see it as any shopping mall they will have a perhaps a test store you can just open the cap and lead and you can just smell it if you like the smell buy it I think this would be a good buy and it's very nice aftershave as well denim 1976 I would give this rating of 8.5 out of 10 thank you so much for watching and uh, time to move on to the next videos take care